Hello everyone, and welcome back to our universe. Today we'll be answering the question, why does the moon shine? The moon is made up of large dark volcanic rock. And no offence to the moon, but the moon is not like the earth. Instead of a hot core, the moon is completely cold and dead. It doesn't rotate or turn like the earth either. And it faces us in the same direction. The reason that we can see the moon glow or shine is because the light of the sun is reflecting off the moon's surface and this makes it visible to us. The moon is actually made up of quite dark material, so it only reflects about 12% of the light that hits it. The amount of light that gets bounced back to Earth also depends on the time and place of the orbit of the moon. When the moon's orbit is directly facing towards Earth, we get a large amount of light bouncing back because there's more of the face of the moon facing the Earth. This is called the full moon. The moon appears larger and brighter, and we can usually see the man in the moon's face really clearly. As the orbit changes, the angle of light also changes, and less and less light bounces back to Earth. During the various quarter stages of the moon, it actually only reflects 8% of the light back to Earth. The moon has an elliptical orbit, so occasionally it gets closer. And when this happens and it's facing the Earth, we can actually see the moon reflects about 20% of the light, and we call this a supermoon. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's supermoon. No, no, that doesn't work. The light from the supermoon is so bright that astronomers cannot use their telescopes. So I'm guessing the astronomers probably get a night off. The moon is made up of ancient volcanic rock that is about 4.5 billion years old. And that is around about the age of the solar system. So this is pretty old rock. Since there isn't any atmosphere on the moon, the surface only changes when it's hit by another space object. For example, an asteroid and this has caused the moon to have a lot of craters and mountains. As the angle changes of the orbit of the moon, the angle of the mountains and craters also change, and the light from this that's reflected becomes dimmer. And when there's a sharper angle from the light of the sun, it causes the craters and the mountains to cast shadows. This is why we see the moon is less bright at certain times in its orbiting cycle. You might be surprised to know that the amount of light that we see today is a lot less than what our ancestors saw. This is because the moon is ever so slightly moving away from the Earth. The Earth and the moon both have a gravitational pull, and the moon's gravitational pull causes the ocean tides on the Earth. And thousands of years ago, the moon was much closer to the Earth. And this means that people in the distant past must have seen the moon larger and brighter in the night sky. This is because of the amount of light reflected was a lot more than it is today. So I hope that's given you a great insight into why the moon shines, and also what it's made of, and why the moon actually becomes brighter and dimmer at certain points in its orbit. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.